whilst the goth look um, can be quite plain and can be quite dressed down, um, it doesn't reward laziness. Uh, so you will often see the occasional person, and they'll, you know, they'll have clearly spent loads of time on their face. They'll have the perfect outfit and so forth, but their hair is clearly where they just kind of ran out of time. They got bored, um, and it's fine. People get, you know, it's fine to have straight, plain hair, you know, just hanging down. You know, being well groomed is nothing to be ashamed of, but it does detract from the look. Now. One problem I had when first learning how to do my hair was that it's very fine, it's very long, and it just doesn't hold a curl or any volume, which is a problem in a, in a subculture which rewards hair which goes up like this. Well, maybe not like this. That's... Ooh. 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 Um... Yeah, uh, it's um yeah, it, big hair is quite popular in the goth scene. It's you know not everyone has it, but it is quite popular, and some people just can't get a backcomb. So what I'm going to show you show, today is what I've been trying to do, which is get a little bit of that backcombed bird's nesty look without the problem of having all your hair weighing it down. So here we go. First. Make sure it is clean, straightened if necessary, untangle free, and then start brushing it back into sort of a high ponytail, right at the back of your head, sort of upper middle part of your head. Like the class I sound. Very upper middle, I say. I'm not. Okay. Make sure it's all swept up. Centered, reasonably neat, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then hold it there. And the next part, oh god, I'm going to turn that. You start twisting it like you're going to put some sort of clip. But instead of clipping it up, you want to pin it. Now, you can use straight wavy pins for this. Um, it will work fine. And through that, you catch a bit of hair, uh, push it away, and then push it into your scalp and turn it round 180 degrees and put it back in. That will hurt a little bit. <laughs> and if it doesn't hurt, you're probably doing it wrong. But it will hold your hair really tightly. Now, another little trick I have is to use these bizarre little spiral pins. I had to order these online, but they used to be in every corner shop. Um, these were what? <laughs> they are like 99p from China or Japan or somewhere. Um, but these grip twisted up hair really nicely. And you just catch hair in your scalp and hair in a twist and screw it in like that. And that is a good pin for having it at the very top and the very bottom of the twist. Not essential, but it really, really helps. Um, so you continue to pin it until ow, 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 until it feels really solid and secure, and you've got this sort of all the length of your hair lies down the centre of your head. Now you can loosen the twist up slightly at this point, and you want to take a curvy grip, preferably an extra long one, but it doesn't have to be. And again, just start loosely kind of tacking the hair to your to the to the head. But as you're doing that, just start teasing it out. So you want you want it to be secured right along the length on one side. But at the same time you don't want it to be done too neatly. And then just start pulling some lengths out. And when you're done, it should just mostly flop round about where your ear is and sort of round at the eye. Okay. Now, this is what you're going to backcomb. You're going to be backcombing this length here. So, take a comb. Rat tail combs are best. Um, any fine tooth comb will do. 
Um, you can also get one of these really fancy ones, which is like three combs in one. It's got three rows of teeth. I love this, but um, it's not necessary for this level of backcombing. And um, arrange your hair roughly how you want it to lie. Take a bit from the top. Make sure it's, you know, I, I, I seem to recall that one hairstylist used a stick of gum as a guide for how big you and thick you want this bit. And then get your comb and just slide it up and down. Okay, you're not going to be hacking at your hair, you just slide it up and down to, from about the middle of the length to the base. And do that a couple of times and then flick it over to that side. And take the next bit of hair from next to it or just underneath and do the same. Flick it over. And again. And you just do this with as much of the hair as you want. This will take a wee bit of time. Uh, so yeah, I was going to do a makeup tutorial today, but then I kind of got up and I showered and I dressed. And by the time I had finished dressing, I had got, got, got gone halfway through my routine without actually realising it. So hence the sort of modern Susie look that I've got going here. Um, that's should If anyone's interested, I'll show you how to do this at some point. Um, and I'll show you all the tools of the trade as well. So yeah, let's keep going until basically you've got this nice big bird's nest going on here. Uh, while I'm at this, I want this I want to do tutorials that people are actually interested in watching, so if there's anything people desperately want to know, just leave something in the comments. And I will I will either show you myself how to do something or I will get one of my lovely friends who have expressed an interest in helping out to help out, or I will go to the effort of actually helping and looking things up myself, because that's how people learn. Right, now this has actually turned out slightly different to how I want it, I quite like it, but um, it's gone to one side. Um, what I was actually going to do was have it, was flip it back over, put that pin back in, to the other side, and it's like a sort of collapsed mohawk if you like. Um, now you've kind of got roughly how you want it to look. Take your hairspray, first do a quick over the top, um, for those who are interested this is well a silver pin maximum hold, um, this is really nice and cheap and it does the job. As you can see already some of that back combing is starting to stand up on its own. Really get into the base as well um, where all the hair has been pushed in. Okay, and again. Another tip is to not spray towards your computer screen if you are doing this near a computer or a mirror because then you end up with this wonderful tacky, sticky, textured effect on your screen which isn't particularly pleasant. You also get some keyboards and cleaning it's a pain. Um, so you've sprayed it, you've backcombed it. Uh, ooh, oh heavens, ooh, ooh, I like that. Um, this is a slightly <laughs> unpredictable style because it will just go however it wants to go. Um, once you have it as big as you can, and I must stress this, make it as big as you can first before taming it down, um, then you can just start easing it into whatever position you want, or you can leave it as it is. And there you have it. Sort of quite big, quite dramatic looking hair, um, which actually keeps itself up because most of the weight is twisted up to the back of your head. Um, it's very easy to do, it's very quick, it lasts all day, um, it's comfortable and it's good if you're going to go into a club and you just don't want to have your hair down at the back of your neck where it's just going to sweat, sweat and get really hot and horrible. And it makes you, um, it allows you to pretend that you are constantly in a wind tunnel. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's a quick, simple hairstyle, which involves back combing and is quite good for people with fine hair, which just doesn't want to go up on its own. Um, my next tutorial will probably be something to do with makeup, but I'm not going to guarantee anything. So, see you later.